on slide 10, I give you a quick reminder of logistic regression, which is a uh, key building block in uh, latent transition analysis and factor analysis with categorical outcomes. Probit regression is also possible, but perhaps logistic regression is more common. So what I'm doing here is trying to connect a picture of what's going on with a formula, equation one. So in the picture, on the x-axis, you see a continuous covariate x2. You can think of that as h. And on the y-axis, you have a probability scale going from 0 to 1, with the probability of u being equals 1, say, having lung cancer. And also, we have a categorical or binary x1 covariate, a dummy variable which could be a smoker versus non-smoker. And we see that with increasing age, the probability of getting lung cancer increases. But we also see that for a given age, the probability of getting lung cancer is higher for those who are smokers than for those who are not smokers, 0 0.75 versus 0 0.25 in this case. If you look at the formula, uh, everything happens here in the uh, in in parent in the expression in parentheses where you don't have any residual part but you only have the uh, linear function of the axis and we see that um, the curves are parallel because uh, beta 2 is the same the slope for x2 is the same irrespective of the x1 values otherwise we would have an interaction term between x1 and x2. Beta 2 is positive and we also see that beta 1 is positive because the probability is higher for smokers than for non-smokers. So we learn then that higher values of this loaded expression correspond to higher probabilities of u equals 1. If we didn't have x2 at all, uh, well, e even with x2, we have two intercepts essentially here then. When x e x1 equals 0, we have beta 0 as the intercept. And when x1 equals 1, we have beta 0 plus beta 1. So that's a positive increase of the intercept and therefore a positive increase of the probability. Now, we're going to take a look, use this kind of formula in uh, settings where the x's are unobserved, they're latent variables. In factor analysis and item response theory, we're going to work with x2 as a factor, as a continuous latent variable. And in LTA, we're going to work with x1 as a latent class variable. So in this case, a binary latent class variable. So it's a very general formula that we use. So here's the formula again. And to understand it further, we recall um, that it relates to odds and odds ratios. The odds for u equals 1 is the ratio of the probability of being u equals 1 divided by the probability of u equals 0, or more generally, 1 minus probability of u equals 1. U, probability of u equals 0 is 1 minus this expression. And if you can express this ratio with the help of equation 2 and take the log of it, you get the so-called log odds, which is referred to as the logit. So the logit of this left-hand side expression is the log odds. And that is this linear expression that is in the parentheses. So the logit is linear, and we're used to dealing with understanding linear expressions. Now you interpret the influence of x on u in terms of odds ratios. So to get an odds ratio, you take, since you have log of something here, you take the exponential, you exponentiate it, and therefore it log and exponentiation cancel each other out. So you will have the exponential of this expression. And that implies that the influence of x1 on u, for instance, is e to the power of beta 1. So you relate being a smoker versus non, not a smoker to getting lung cancer versus not lung, lung cancer. So an odds ratio is the relationship between two variables. Now, there's much more to say about this, obviously. And it's described, for instance, in our book. 
which you can find on our website together with scripts for over a hundred examples and uh, it's all the chapters are described here now for the latent class situation latent transition analysis situation it's even simpler so here it's for instance if you talk about measurement probabilities you will have for instance, a la binary latent class indicator, u, and a latent class variable, c. You can think of them as binary, both of them. The probability that you have u equals 1 when the latent class variable is in class c, lowercase c, is the, exponent, the uh, logistic expression, where l is the logit for class c. And so the logit of this probability expression of this, this is the lo log of the odds. And in the latent transition or latent class analysis setting, there are no x2 variables, no continuous variables, but only an intercept, beta zero, which varies across, across the uh, latent classes. In M plus, you instead work with thresholds because they are more general and, and can handle ordinal variables, so more than two categories, so you can have more than one threshold, and they are the same as the intercept but with a negative sign. So you think of this as high logit giving high probabilities, high thresholds giving low probability. Threshold is something you have to get beyond to get u equals 1. And you know then that when logit is zero and when the threshold is zero, they're zero at the same time, we get probability 0.5, neutral point. Low logit, high threshold gives a low probability. High logit, low threshold give a high probability. So uh, up here we talked about how to get probability of u equals one as a function of the logit. And then we just remind ourselves, how do you get the logit from the probability, the reverse? Well, again, the logit is the log odds. It's the log of the probability ratio. So if you have a probability that you want, you can calculate the logit, the log of that ratio, and that is your logit. So you can go back and forth, forth in that set fashion.